So we're either gonna end up at the marina or we're gonna end up way down there. <laughs> That's 125. Alright, let's see if we drag. We are in reverse and we're going up to full throttle. Because we need business. Business time. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello, New York City. Wow. Anchored at 79th Street Boat Basin Marina. Mm -hmm. There's usually a mooring ball field here, like yes. I don't know, 50 moorings or more. Not until May 1st. Not until May 1st, so uh I used to go jogging along here every day back when I was like, you know, fit and in shape. It's a really nice route to jog or bike or rollerblade. Now what is this? This is a book called The Eldridge Tide and Pilot Book. It's uh, published once a year. It contains tables for every day of the year uh, where you can see when high tide and low tide is. It's March 31st. The last High tide was at 12.03 p.m. Oh, that's coming up in, in one hour from now. So high tide is in one hour from now. Then there are these illustrations of the harbor showing you what's going on with the current at certain times. So in one hour from now, right where we are, there'll be a 1.9 knot current going north. And then the next illustration is one hour after high water at the battery. And then you can look up again, and it's still 1.9. Uh, let's look at two hours. It's 1.2. And then three hours after high water, it's at slack. So 3 p.m., this water will be slack and turning around. Four hours after high water, it's 1.2 knots going south. And then going up an hour later to 2.1, and then to 2.8, and then back to 2.7. So we'll have a two knot current going that way in one hour. No, 1.9. Can we row against a 1.9 current? I guess we can find out. Yep. 26 bucks to land the dinghy? Mm-hmm. $26 a day to land. Let's take a shower. Uh, it gives us access to the shower. We'll take Eldridge with us. Yeah. And uh, and then time our return to Paragon. We'll I don't think low tide are the changes until midnight. No, we'll be waiting. If we need to. We should fill the 10 gallon jugs into the onboard tanks and then take the jugs with us so we can get more water. Mm hmm. God, this is one time when I really wish I had an outboard. Yeah. This wasn't in the budget before we left. Okay, we're about to put the dinghy in the water. Got a little bridle set up on it. Using a halyard. All set. 
Okay, a little higher. You ready? ready. So this is the, uh, the, the asymmetrical spinnaker halyard. There's one on each side. I color coded them. The starboard one is green specked and the port one is red specked. There's a little method with your madness. There usually is some method. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh -huh. you know, some sort of plan. Uh-huh. All right, dinghy's in the water. So what do you think? I think we can try it. Do you think we're going to end up halfway down the Hudson? I'm a pretty good rower. Uh-huh. So, so let's just try it. If we've obviously got a six-knot current going against us, then we won't. We won't do it. The current is far less right up along the rocks there. And it's far stronger towards the center of the Hudson River. So if you're going against it, you might want to... I imagine there's the also a there. little bit of an eddy here created by the marina. Uh, I, I mean, there's got to be. Does there? Yeah. If you put any object in the water, have a current going against it, there's going to be an eddy. That's the way it works. You and me, we are a team. So we're either going to end up at the marina or we're going to end up way down the <laughs> <laughs> Way down the Hudson. Yeah. I love this scene. I really do. I love being at Anchor here and seeing Manhattan. Uh, I love that there's always a lot of activity going up and down the path here. A lot of joggers, a lot of rollerbladers. We got a little bit of grass here, people hang out, have picnics. It's a great restaurant right there at the uh, at the marina. Boat Basin Marina Cafe or yeah, something. I wonder if they're open. Maybe. If, if they are, I'll, I'll get you a burger. All right, let's get ready. But I love to see and over there. We have New Jersey. Which we may very well end up over there today if the rowing goes badly. <laughs>